Okay. I've seen a lot of people asking questions about AI lighting um, and other questions about my tank and stuff like that. So I'm just going to post this video for, to cover both of those topics pretty much. <clears throat> I have a more in-depth setup video, but I basically attempted to do, do a dry start on this, which is where you pour a bunch of seeds in, put water up to about here, you know, wait six weeks or whatever it happens to be. Um, after about a week, I had nothing but maybe some mold starting, so I went ahead and filled it up. And then within three days, all these started to pop up. Now, I didn't exactly do it right. I don't know how long this carpet's going to last because I should have placed a layer of substrate over the seeds, which I did not. So uh, I don't know if you're able to see it here. I can zoom in later. But there are lots of plants that are they're not really well rooted in this substrate it's probably too thick for their little roots if they had started kind of buried it probably would have been better um, on top of that the mystery snails like to uproot plants um, i have a dragonfish in here who is just basically a little lawn mower and then on top of that i've got some porthole cats that really like to dig around in it so it's cool for now it probably isn't going to last i'm gonna have to find a whole bunch of other plants to stick in there um start filling in the holes so that as the sub as it kind of all pops up which it does every day there's more and more of it floating in the top then it'll kind of get repopulated by other plants i stick in there so um attempting to still see the scape while at the same time um having it very planted is also another you know topic to fight but right now i'm going to go ahead and show what this what these ai lights are like to use kind of how they work so i'm gonna post this up here so you can see so when i go in here and i i've got my ai that my two lights that are on this 150 and i've got one light that's on my 20 gallon over there so if i go ahead and click on my 150 cloud it will come up with this currently it's set on my schedule so you can see it's highlighted there if I click on all on, all of the lights in, in the aquarium come on 100%, which will be very bad for my fish and bad for my plants. So um, you want to get to a place that works for both. Okay, so the phone's pretty bright. It's going to kind of be hard to see without being close. So I'm going to try to kind of have the tank in the background. But... The way that it works, if I go to control, now this is m what my lights are set to go to. So even at the uh, at the highest part of the day, they kind of they start out. They have a two-hour ramp up. They start at ten. They go up pretty steadily, all of them to noon. So they at noon they're at um, blues at thirty percent, greens at thirty-six percent um red is at 30 um uh, i guess uh i don't remember what is this uh warm white would be at 29 and cool whites at 30. oh sorry i wasn't on 12 o'clock so warm white's at 25 percent and cool white is at 26. So then as the day goes along, they increase, increase to where at the top at seven is their highest point. Uh, blues at 40, greens at 45, reds at 40, warm whites at 35, and cool whites at 35. So if I go to edit, that's what they look like at the, at the highest point of the day. That's what the lights look like. So um, then from there, they start to ramp down until nine till uh nine o'clock this is 8 40 but that's supposed to be nine so so then um the blue and the green stay on at a really low level like three percent something like that until something kind of like that they just gradually ramp down until midnight when they're all the way off and so far that's been some pretty good settings 
Um, if I go in here to shoot just manual control, just to mess with it, you'll hopefully be able to see at the same time. So if I increase my blue, my whole tank becomes rather blue. You know, that's kind of how they're all going to work. So, um, greens, you can't really have enough green usually in a planted tank, but you can see it gets into like almost a neon color. Throw in some red. You know, it kind of looks like, I don't know, like the bottom of a pool or something. Your warm white and your cool white are really going to be where your actual light is at. So you can kind of have these off, all the other colors off, and just have these on. Um, it's going to be way too like bright for your animals, for sure. But So we don't like to do that. I found that for them, at the highest point in the day, somewhere around... 30 to 40 is really where you're gonna to wanna to be. Something that looks about like this. And uh, my little tank, which I I can go over there and show a little bit of footage of that in here in a minute, but the uh, 20 gallon tank is gonna look roughly just like this with only one light running at like 50, 15%. Um, definitely the larger tank at 30% is this, ha has the same colors and everything at where the lights are at 15 percent on a much smaller tank so we'll show that too but um there are a bunch of other pretty cool there's another way that you can set it if you say okay i want to have my my power here um but then i want my color to be over here if that's the way you prefer to set it uh it's not as in-depth it's just kind of a so you can kind of say you were having company and you were going for a specific kind of lighting or something, I guess this would probably be the fastest way to, to locate that. All right, so we are at my girlfriend's little 20 gallon guppy tank. Um, I wanna to switch to that one. I'm just gonna come over here to my 20 gallon, let it load. So on my schedule, You'll see if I pick the brightest part of the day, it really looks like the same coloration on as the large tank, except for my blues at 18%, my green is at 22, my 16, or my red is at 16, my cool and my warm are at 12. So that's at the brightest part of that day. And then they ramp down from there, but I mean, when they start, they're much lower. And that's after a two hour ramp up, it goes to there. Ultimately ending it here. So these are great lights. Obviously all of my plants are doing quite well, except for the ones that the uh, snails and such are, are bringing up in the other tank, but everything's quite healthy. So, I mean, uh, I guess that's pretty much everything. Oh yeah, if you go to easy setup, you can set all these to what you want them to be. Um, put sunrise and sunset, you can set your ramp time and then that will just be it. So it'll basically be ramp up. You could set as two hours. Um, you would say two hours. And then you down here, it gives you a little, this is what your time is gonna look like. And then you can adjust. So see the blue line went up. Green one separated. Red. I mean that's going to be incredibly too high. Especially for this little 20 gallon tank. I'll fry all the fish that are in there. But you get the, the gist of how to do an, an auto setting. Down here on these other buttons. Other than your control. You have devices. So I'm looking at on the 20 gallon. I have my this prime fresh water and it is the parent. If I had two, so say I come back over here to my 150 and I click on devices. I've got two, the parent and the child and the parent tells the child everything to do. So you're really only running one light, but it's telling the other one how to operate. And then ultimately you have effects. You can, you can set your tank to operate off of the lunar setting by I guess what the, the moon cycle is. You can set your weather. So you can actually put thunderstorms and things like that 
into your lighting, I guess if you're trying to make your tank as much like nature as possible. And then you have an acclimation setting. So if your fish come from a place with, that would on this light setting be considered 15% or something, and you throw them in there and your lights are set at 50%, you're gonna, you could potentially really harm your fish, stress them out. Um, they're gonna hide a lot and not get along. So you can actually set this thing to auto acclimate if you don't feel like ramping up your, your lights day after day. You can tell the, it, the dates, how long you want to go for, um, the starting reduction percent. So if you're normally your lights are gonna be at 50%, you can set this to um, your reduction is 50%, it'll be at 25. And then over that, that date time period, it's gonna increase that lighting naturally over you know, several days or months, even if you prefer it here, it's got basically one month setting. So over the next, oh, not even a month, over that time, it will increase that light and get the fish used to it versus you just brought it home from a store and put it under an AI light at 70%. You're just probably gonna end up killing that fish. So those are things to take into consideration. But I guess that's gonna do it for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any other further questions I'll answer in the comments. Thanks.